We are joined now by Dr. Brent Bristow, a professor and the head of the music department at ASUBB, to hear about the opportunities that are available to students there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really oh, appreciate well, thank it. You for me. Yeah, absolutely. So, just generally, what areas of study are available at ASUBB for uh, music students? Well, we offer a wide assortment of classes, and for any students that want to study in voice, piano, guitar, and then all of the woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. So pretty much everything, we don't have an orchestra, but pretty much anything other than that we can cover. We also have classes in composition, and we can cover some things in songwriting. So if we have students that are interested in writing or maybe doing some production stuff, we can do a little bit to help those students as well. What scholarships are available? So our scholarships are all performance-based. So basically what they would need to do is they would need to come in and either audition for me or for a choir director. Uh, they're tied to the symphonic band and to the choir, so they'll come in and they'll audition for us. Typically what we ask of students, uh, you know, high school students, they're usually doing things like preparing for all region auditions for band or choir. We just have them come in and play that music for us. That gives us an idea of what they're doing. And then we can sort of uh, look at what we can do to help them out financially for, in exchange for their participation into the groups is basically how, how it works in most schools. So we're, it's pretty typical for, for most universities. They just come in and audition for us and we see what we can do to help them out. What performance opportunities are available? So we typically have, with both the band and the choir, we typically have somewhere in the neighborhood of two to four performances per semester uh, with the groups. Uh, sometimes it may be more or less, depending upon what kind of community things may be going on. Uh, and then also for the actual music majors, uh, they're going to be required to do some solo performances uh, where they perform some of the things that they're working on as part of their curriculum uh, so that they'll get an opportunity to actually um, get a chance to perform in front of people as a, as a soloist as opposed to just being a member of a group. Okay, I bet mean, that's a great experience for them as well. Mm -hmm. How many instructors teach within the music department? So there are three full-time instructors, uh, myself along with our uh, choir director, Jeffrey Thames, and then our uh, professor of piano, Mary Jo Parker. And then also we have uh, several adjunct instructors. Um, so in a lot of community uh, colleges like ours, usually if you show up as, say, a trumpet player, you may end up just taking lessons with whoever's there. But it's really important to us to make sure that you're taking lessons from someone who's actually knowledgeable in your instrument uh, so that they can really give you the nuts and bolts of how to get to the next level. And so we have several instructors uh, to help with, with all of those students who are working in instruments that I may not be familiar with. Uh, we also offer a guitar program. One of our former students is actually now back as our instructor of guitar, and he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, we, we're really glad to have him on board as well. So typically we have somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, seven to eight adjunct instructors at any given time. Oh, wow. Are there opportunities for community members to participate? Absolutely. Uh, with the band program in particular, uh, we have right now several community members that play, and some of them have been playing with us for going on a decade now. Um, we've had members that have ranged in age from 14 to 65 and just about any, any point in between. Uh, so if we have people who are in the community who are just looking opportunities to come and play can do that. Uh, that's also available for the choir. We haven't had as, as many people do that, but that is available as well. And then also uh, we have people, if they are just in the community and they've always wanted to play piano or they've always wanted to play guitar or whatever, uh, they can come in, sign up, and take those private lessons in that area as well and learn. Or if they just want to get a little bit better or spend a bit, little more time doing that as a hobby, we offer that program as well. Explain how the Associate of Fine Arts and Music works for students transferring to get that four-year degree. Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we offer, um, <clears throat> sorry, we offer a, a full range of, um, sorry about that, we offer a full range of, of the um, classes that any freshman, sophomore would be expected to get within a four-year program. And thank you. Um, and so they can get those classes in with us and then transfer in as a junior to any four-year school. And the other thing that we've had, which has kind of been kind of an interesting thing, uh, sort of unexpected, is that we've had a lot of students who say they want to get a degree in business or something like that. Um, they'll come in and they'll get the associates of music with us. 
and that will count toward what they need to get a minor in music later on. So they'll end up maybe getting a degree in Spanish, but then because they did the work with us, they'll get a bachelor's degree in Spanish eventually with uh, the... Um, with the minor in sure. music already kind of taken care of. And we do offer within our scholarships, I should mention that uh, the scholarships are available for students whether they're going to major in music or not. So even if they're going to major in something else and they just want to participate in the band or choir, we do still have scholarships available for them as well. Perfect. Great so, information yeah. from you, Brent. Thank you okay, so much great. for joining right, well, me today. I appreciate it. All right. Well, after this break, we learn about the art department at ASUBB. Stay with us.